Hello YouTube, this is Neon. Today I'm going to be talking about how the rich pass the buck. Okay? It's an exciting, exciting topic. It's not an easy topic. It's not necessarily a fun topic. It's so loaded with contradictions. But it's a necessary topic. So one thing that I've noticed about the super rich, and I've noticed this about everybody, this is not just attacking the rich, this is attacking humanity, because this is how most of us behave, okay? Many millionaires, a lot of times they'll say, well, I'm not rich because I'm not a billionaire. I'm not rich because I'm not a billionaire. There's one author who I used to respect who said that same thing. He essentially said, I'm not rich, and those billionaires should really be helping a lot of the needy people in the world, because I'm not rich compared to them. This author, who I used to love, and who, this is one of the things that made me call into question my love and respect for this man was the fact that he said this. The fact that he's worth well over a hundred million dollars and he would point at the rich, the real rich, because he doesn't consider himself to be the real rich. I remember reading an article where this, this article alleged that Roseanne Barr said that people shouldn't be allowed to earn more than 80 million dollars. Something of that nature and come to find out that was her net worth. People shouldn't be allowed to be richer than her. If the article was telling the truth, money loaded with contradictions, loaded with contradictions. Why? Because none of us want to take social responsibility for other people who are homeless, starving, hurting throughout the world. Money and what money can buy Money can buy potable drinking water, and food, and housing, and medical treatment, and we don't want to open our wallets for that, okay? That's why there's so many contradictions about money. Now, money is prestige, money is power, money is the ability to mistreat other people. And when I say mistreat, it runs along the spectrum. Everything from having a snobbish, arrogant attitude, tone of voice, facial expression when the wealthy talk to people who are poor to the opposite extreme of, of killing people, which does happen. Starvation and homelessness, something that the rich have the power to end, but they don't. I believe that we as humanity we worship money we love and worship money and we use human beings we use people we all hate the rich but we all want to be rich money is loaded with contradictions So many of the rich, who I would refer to as the progressive rich, or per perhaps the liberal rich, these folks are only progressive with respect to allowing people to do whatever the hell they want to do, as long as they're not violating another human being. In terms of pro-choice and whether two men should get married, or two women, transgender people should get, should be treated as equals, because that's what they are. All of that I agree with, that's fine. But these, these what I call liberal rich, or these pro so-called progressive rich, they're actually economic conservatives. They do not want to help other people with their money. Now, like I said, most of us, we're fans of these people. I've seen articles about how some of the super rich celebrities, people worth tens and hundreds of millions of dollars treat their fans and many of them it's 
it's not good at all the way a lot of celebrities treat their fans. And I can't help but wonder if some fans don't really care because many of us, we want to be rich so that we can mistreat people as well and get away with it, right? Some of the ways that they mistreat fans, I've mistreated people and I came this close to being punched in the nose, okay, but they're super rich. They get away with it. Lot, the more money, the more status, the more sense of superiority. Okay. The rich and the super rich, they don't like to talk about money. Probably all boils down to it not making them look good. Some have an attitude, particularly those who are worth hundreds of millions and billions, I've seen interviews where they'll say, I don't like to talk about money. <clears throat> Sometimes I think it's a God complex. It's like, I'm above all these billions. It's not enough that the whole world lusts after what you have, wishes they had what you had, and envies you. You have to be, that's not enough for their ego. They have to say, well, I'm above even talking about these billions. They've got so much money that they don't have to think about money. If they were poor, they would be thinking about money and how they can get money. But I do think that ultimately they don't like to talk about money because it doesn't make them look good. They do not take social responsibility. They have the ability to change the world, but they don't. They don't. They don't want to end hunger. They don't want to end homelessness. They don't want to make higher quality health care available, available to other people because they, like all of us, worship money. They worship money. Now some of these people, these, and while this applies to Republicans and conservative rich, and it, they may be worse, I'm not sure if by what degree, but I don't think it's by, I think it's the same. I think their greed is equal whether they're social conservatives or social progressives many of these people some of whom i love and adore but not as much they are dubbed philanthropists and they may give 10 percent i i heard it said that it's one of the most common things amongst the rich is that they do tend to tithe 10 percent they can afford to give much more than 10%. I would say that the way the rich give tends to be rather ineffectual and usually uh, is giving to themselves as much as it is that they are giving to others to help other people. It's usually the way they give somehow winds up being an homage to their name because it always has their name written all over it. So they create this sort of legacy that really is just a building named after them or a monument named after them or a scholarship named after them. But a lot of times, the people who are really supposed to benefit from this are not benefiting because the rich believe they are superior to people who are poor and who need their help. So they're unwilling to collaborate with them. You cannot help someone if you're not collaborating with them, if you think you're going to dictate to someone else in spite of the fact that uh, you're equal and you're doing it just because you're rich, you're not going to be able to help them as much as if you collaborated and took their advice and you compromised in that collaboration to help them. So many times the way the rich give is not very effectual is not very effective. Now one person who was dubbed as, this person is dubbed as being a great philanthropist, and I'm not naming names, because if this goes viral, their fans are going to be pissed off, and I don't want hate mail. So, come to find out later, they were doing a documentary, or, or the news report was reporting on the lifestyle of this person. This person has gold-plated sinks, this person lives in an ex extremely exclusive neighborhood 
in a mansion that is fit for royalty. Gold plated sink. Sinks. Okay. And yet this person is dubbed a philanthropist. This person gives about 10 or 11% from what I last saw. So that's a lot of money. But as a percentage of what they make, it's not really that much. I'm on SSI and I pay 10, 11% to charity. I do that now. These folks can afford to give over half, but they don't. Their 10% looks like a lot of money to the most of us, to, to the majority of us, but in reality, it's not much more than scraps. And many times the way they give is rather tight-fisted. And there's many errors in the way they give. And the people that they're helping oftentimes will say things like, why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they consult with us so that this money could be spent in a way that would be more helpful to us? Well, they think they're superior to you. So they would not, of course, they're not going to consult you. Of course, they're not going to collaborate with you. Many of the wealthy, they don't want us to know their wealth. And unfortunately, social progressives, celebrity, super rich people, their, more, their wealth is a little more likely to be known than people who are not in the media because they have fame and everybody wants to know their wealth. They don't want other people knowing their wealth because they don't want to they don't want us to know, here's how much they can change the world, and they're not. They're just getting richer every year. They're doing just like the evil Republicans, just like the evil business owners. Progressive rich are doing the exact same thing, getting richer and richer. Contradictions of money. The Bible says it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to get to heaven, rich man or woman to get to heaven. Yet we all still want to be rich. It appears that Material wealth on earth is cool, and if it means we're going to burn in hell, who cares? Uh -huh. Now, many, many people, they don't really want to be rich in immaterial ways. They just want the facade that rich, that money can buy. You know, the finest clothes, cars, homes, exclusive neighborhoods, gorgeous body, plastic surgery and all of this stuff so that people will envy them. But in terms of being moral, having psychological, emotional, wealth, health, moral wealth, these immaterial kinds of wealth are not really important to them. These kinds of immaterial wealth can only be obtained through giving, through giving effectively and through helping other people. Now it's interesting that domestic labor over the, the decades has been the least paid and people are treated the worst. I saw a documentary on the history of domestic servitude, domestic service in the UK. And basically nobody in the UK, no uh, British person uh, will do domestic work anymore. So they wind up getting people from other countries to come in and do their work. But the mistreatment is horrible. To me it's tragic the idea that I don't want to clean my restroom I don't want to clean my toilet I don't want to wash my dishes I'll get someone else to do it who's beneath me I'll pay them next to nothing I'll treat them like an animal and in many places of the world and po possibly in the UK this still goes on where people have domestic serv servants many times they're little girls so they want to make sure it's someone who cannot defend themselves and they're treated this way they're maybe fed just enough so that they can work all day. And then lastly, I wanted to say that lottery winners are kind of a, f a funny group because they usually say, if I had, if I had nicks to the money that th those rich people had, I would, I would get people off the street and I would do these nice things. And yet they do the same things that the rich do once they get their lottery winnings. They buy fancy cars, fancy homes, fancy clothes. Sometimes they get rid of their partner because they want to get a fancy partner. And they live it up. And they live and they get a lot of status. So that's it. That's it. Lots of money and little responsibility. Little switch of responsibility. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, commercials. Recommend my videos if you find this interesting and informative. Thank you and best wishes.